Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the best short range options to use in Warzone right now. Now a lot of changed with some of the nerfs, some of the buffs to specific weapons, and that really shook up the meta quite a bit for the short range options. Now I have to admit, whenever I make these videos, I usually put it in a list of top 5 SMGs or short range weapons. But it's absolutely impossible to do that right now with the short range weapons being completely balanced. I, there's never been a time in this game where I can remember where there wasn't one gun that you pretty much had to use to be able to compete. Right now there's 8 or 9 options and they all good. So instead of ranking them 1 through 5, what I'm going to do in this video is break down each gun show you which one does which best and then you could pick the gun that best suits you to fit your play style so let's jump into it and take a look at some of the better short range options right now now we're going to move over to true game data and we're going to take a look at each of these guns so i can show you which ones do this well and what you're going to lose whenever you're using it so right here here's what i think are probably the top five options to use as short range weapons in Warzone right now. And we have the Cold War AK, the XM4, the Cold War MP5, the Modern Warfare MP5, and the Bullfrog. I think these are your best five options, but there is some other viable options that we're gonna get into in just a minute. So, starting with the Cold War AK, as you can see, this is this orange line right here. And the Cold War AK kills extremely fast. It kills almost as fast up close as the fastest kill in SMG, which is the Cold War MP5. So, whenever you're using the AK, you're going to get quite a bit of a high TTK, which is great. But what, what you're going to lose with the AK is the movement speed. Since they nerfed the movement speed to the Cold War ARs, it makes the options like an AK-47 and an XM4 a little bit tougher to use as a true SMG. Now where the AK really excels is as a sniper support weapon. Because as you can see here, all these other SMGs, whenever you reach about 10 to 20 meters or so, they have an extremely steep damage range drop off. The AK doesn't have nearly the drop off as those, which is what makes it probably the best sniper support weapon to use right now. Now close to the AK-47 is the XM4. But if I'm being honest, I'm not sure why you would want to use the XM4 as a sniper support over the AK. But some people just enjoy the XM4 a little bit more. So to each his own. But it's going to have a little higher time to kill with the XM4. But it's still a solid option if for whatever reason you're not a fan of the Cold War AK. Now we're going to jump into the three SMGs on this list. And we have the Cold War MP5. Now this is the fastest kill in SMG in the game right now. But here's the drawback with the Cold War MP5. As you can see, once you get out to about 11, 12 meters, there's a steep damage drop off. And then once you get out to about 19, there's another big drop off. So for those that enjoy using the Cold War MP5, and I'm, I promise you that it's really fun to use, but you have to be the type of player that is gonna push people really hard in buildings are getting their face to start shooting. Because if you get in an engagement that's about 20 or so meters out, you have your Cold War MP5 out and you try shooting somebody, you're gonna be shooting pretty much straight cotton balls. So you're not gonna get a lot of damage with it. So with the Cold War MP5, you're gonna probably wanna run amped and you're gonna have to run an AR with it. So now we're gonna move on to the Modern Warfare MP5, which is still a very solid option to use as a short range weapon. But as you're going to see, with the Cold War MP5 right here, we don't have that damage range drop off until about 11-12 meters. Whereas with the Modern Warfare MP5, it drops off a lot quicker at about 5-6 meters out is whenever we hit that first damage drop off. So it kills slower than the Cold War MP5 up close and it also has a quicker damage range drop off. Which makes the Cold War, Cold War MP5 a much better option to use if you're asking me. But where the Modern Warfare MP5 excels is at hip, hip fire accuracy. So if you're a player that likes pushing people and 
is extremely good at hip firing, then the MP5 from Modern Warfare is going to be the best option for you. Now that's going to bring us to the Bullfrog. And as you can see with the Bullfrog, this dark blue line right here, the Bullfrog has a much extended range before we get to that damage drop off, which makes it a pretty great option. The time to kill on the Bullfrog isn't quite as fast as the either MP5, but it's not too far off. But the big plus with it is that it holds its damage range up until almost 20 meters before we have the drop off. Now, the bad thing about the Bullfrog is whenever it drops off, it drops off much steeper than all the other options. So as you can see here, once we get out to about 25 meters, the Bullfrog is almost useless. You're not going to want to use this thing at all. So it just kind of depends what you want. And another plus with the Bullfrog is that it has a 65 round mag or a, I think an 85 round mag you can put on it. So it has a lot of bullets in it and it's kind of a nice combination between all of the other SMGs that's sitting right there in the middle. So as you see, all of these guns have some, some great things about it. Some things that make them perfect to use if you play a certain type of way. But those guns also have some drawbacks to them, which is why I think we have an absolute perfect balance of short range meta right now. We've never had this in the game before. There's always been that one gun that you had to use to be able to compete. Right now, there's tons of options. They all have positives and they all have negatives. So it's basically all about what best fits your play style. Now we're gonna compare some of these weapons to some of the other options that I think are viable. Now the first one we're gonna take a look at is the PPSH. This recently got a buff that made it viable, but it didn't make it one of the top tier weapons in my opinion. But where the PPSH is gonna excel is probably as a sniper support. It's the, I think, the best sniper support SMG that you could use. So you see I compared it here, I have the XM4 up, and then I have the Bullfrog up, and then the PPSH is added in pink now. So you're going to see that the PPSH kills a little bit slower than the XM4 and the Bullfrog, but the PPSH holds its own at range compared to guns like the Bullfrog and some of the other SMGs, which is what makes it a solid sniper support option. But as you can see with the orange line right here, it doesn't kill as fast as the XM4 at range. But once you get out past this about 50 meter mark or so, if you're using that as a sniper support, you're going to be sniping anyway. So nothing on, on this area really matters too much because you should be sniping. But what the PPSH gives you over the XM4 is the movement speed. So if you're a person that likes having your short range option, and you want to have the ability to move quicker across the map, then that would be the reason to use the PPSH instead of the XM4 or the AK-47 that we talked about earlier. So now we're going to talk about two more weapons that I see widely used in the game right now, and that's the LC-10 and the MAC-10. And again, I didn't have these in my top five, but they're both solid options. As you're going to see here, the LC-10 is in pink, and I stacked it up against the Cold War MP5 and the Bullfrog just to give you a comparison of how it competes against the weapons that I think are slightly better, but not a whole lot. So you can see the LC-10 has a slower time to kill than any of these four options that I have up right now. But the bonus of the LC-10 is that it holds its damage range up till almost 25 meters, which is quite a bit longer than the Bullfrog then, then the MAC-10, and a lot longer than the Cold War MP5. So if you're one of those people that find yourself with your SMG out at 20, 15, whatever meters at longer ranges, and you find that, hey, I'm using losing a bunch of these gunfights because I didn't remember to switch to my other weapon, or whatever the reason is, then the LC-10 might actually be the best option for you because it's going to hold that damage range for a longer period of time. Now we go over to the MAC-10 and that's going to be represented in orange right here. Now as you can see the MAC-10 kills slightly faster than the LC-10 but it's not by much and it kills slower than the Cold War MP5 and the Bullfrog. 
Now, where the MAC-10 excels is that it has that damage range drop off. It doesn't occur until almost 20 meters. And whenever it does drop off, it doesn't drop off as much as the other weapons. So, you see it doesn't have the damage range drop off quite as bad as the Cold War MP5. And it's a lot better than the LC-10 and the Bullfrog. So, again, the MAC-10, it has a fast fire rate. That's a plus. It just kills a little bit slower now up close. If you get yourself into a 50-50 gunfight against the Cold War MP5, you're going to lose it if you're holding the MAC-10. But, on the flip side, if you have your MAC-10 out at, let's say, 25 meters, and you're going against that Cold War MP5, you're going to win it if you have the MAC-10. So the MAC-10 is not a bad option to use either. So as you can see, I gave you a list of, I think this was nine weapons that I compared, and they're all very, very viable options. Now it's just a matter of picking and choosing which one fits you best. Now a lot of these guns on this list, I've done videos on already, breaking down the best attachments to use for each ones. And for the guns that I haven't done, I'm going to have some videos coming out in the future. I know I'm working on a Cold War MP5 video right now that'll be coming out sometime later this week. So if you like the video or learn something new, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and come back so you don't miss out on all these other videos. As always, thanks for watching. Eagle Gaming.